Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to break up your expenses in QuickBooks. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about consulting and private trainings. We always record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hello and welcome to another special screencast brought to you by yours truly, Seth David from Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. We're talking about how to break up your expenses. This comes up once in a while. Recently I did a video on how to merge accounts in QuickBooks uh, with the idea in mind that you want to kind of clean up and consolidate and simplify the chart of accounts. But sometimes we run into the situation where we really want to go the other direction. And here's a good example of uh, a place where I see it frequently. Everything gets lumped into professional fees. And the reality is we want that broken out into, <coughs> excuse me, maybe two or three more categories. And the uh, question is, how do I do it quickly and efficiently? And I have the answer. I have all the answers. Just call me whenever you need answers because I've got them. I keep them in my pocket. Double click professional fees. Now, of course, and this is just a, a fairly simple example, but you might be looking at a year's worth of transactions or more. So the question is, what do we do? And when I first double click it, I've just got kind of a, a sequential list of the transactions. And here I've, again, set it up pretty simply where I have uh, three different monthly recurring expenses in here. So the easiest way to do this in my experience is because very often in a case like this, the payee is going to pretty much dictate where the expense is ultimately going to go in terms of the subcategory. So come over here once you've drilled in from the P&L and total it by payee. Now we've got it broken out, right? So blind them, rob them, and bill them is going to be legal fees. So we double click one of them and come over here and type a colon after the account. That lets QuickBooks know I'm about to create a sub account legal fees right or professional fees legal we don't really need fees in there we've already got fees in there I hit the tab key QuickBooks asked me to set it up and I click continue and I click it already knows it's legal it's an expense because it's a sub account of professional fees which is an expense save and close save and close yes and yes and yes okay now what we have done is we have created the legal fees account and let's go take a look let's refresh this so now we start remember this is total by pay so we're gonna still see it all in the same place here but at this point what you want to do to kinda keep track of what you're doing first of all keep the P&L up right because now I've got 2500 from the first of these payments in legal question is which ones have been sort of handled getting rid of some of the columns I don't really need here and let us go in and add the column for the account boom I click customize report I come in here to the display tab I click account okay now I can see okay this guy's got legal in there and basically at this point what I can do is I can come in here copy the account name then come in here paste it in save and close yes 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 same thing just go down the list so this is how you do it and then you would go through each of the other two payees and for nerd enterprises let's say you would call it accounting right okay continue save and close and we're just yesing QuickBooks to death right now just to get this going. And again, same process. I come in here, copy, control C, double click, paste, save and close. Yes. Yes. Then we have Ethel Birdswell, who is a character that my brother made up in a children's book he wrote when we were children. <laughs> and let's say she is office help. So again, we're just yesing it to death. Ultimately, we just need a new expense as a sub account of professional fees. And then while I'm here, I can control C, copy and paste, save and close. Yes, yes. And look how my PL is beginning to take shape now. And again, over here, double click, paste it in. So this is the way you do it if you've got QuickBooks Pro or Premiere. 
and uh, QuickBooks wants to remind me about checks and it's you know it's a little bit of a process especially if you have a lot of transactions but it works if you happen to have the accountants edition or if you know somebody who does hi then uh, there's a much better way which is using the uh, client data review in the accountants menu again this is only available to people who have the accountants edition so if you're faced with this and you have a lot of transactions to do this for then send it to me for those of you accountants out there who are watching who haven't become familiar with this you'd better become familiar with this because it's going to save your life um, I don't know what it's doing here let's go to client data review client data review okay it doesn't give you the choice here for this fiscal year always do it on a cruel basis when you're doing something like this and then just do the custom date which is uh, 1 1 12 through uh, 6 18 12 start the review and you'll see how much easier it is when you do it like this so we want to come right here to reclassify transactions and I can do it I click the professional fees account here okay I sort it by name and especially now that I've got this created I check all the blind them rob them and bill them ones right and down here legal reclassify boom it takes care of them let's do ethel right over here office not office supplies but office help reclassify she's done Nerd Enterprises Inc. Accounting under professional fees. Reclassify and I'm done. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's much faster if you have an, uh, the accountant's edition or if you have an accountant with the accountant's edition low. Um, if you need to reclassify a lot of stuff like this, just uh, get in touch with me and you can hire me and I can do it. And uh, as you can see, I can get it done very quickly. So even though I you know I charge an hourly rate it'll get done fast it shouldn't take long that is all as always if you have questions post your comments and questions below in the video description or on the blog wherever you're watching this I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web